It is a very therapeutic thing. If I'm having a really bad day, I'll just go paint Bob Ross. I won't even stream or record it. It's just a case of like, I just, just, I'm having a really hard time and I'm just painting Bob Ross. And really enough, like, yeah, it's a, it, 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 it is a therapeutic thing. It's one of those lines that he says. It, he has a great philosophy when it comes to creation, when it comes to creativity, but also how to live things and how life sort of is. You gotta have those dark patches, those darkened corners, um, that those shadows, to really bring out the brightness of the whole painting, of the whole image, the whole story. I am Virtual Lily, also known as Just Lily, and um, I am 28 years old, uh, living in the United Kingdom, but also living inside of virtual reality. What am I doing today? Do you want something glorious? So, originally, I was in university um, for applied psychology and criminology. So I wanted to study how to become um, more of a therapist, how to basically help along with a bunch of people. Um, that was sort of like just an original goal of mine. It was a little bit tough, like going through university. Um, unfortunately, I had uh, been getting like symptoms of my complex post-traumatic stress disorder, um, which unfortunately, when you study applied psychology and criminology, a lot of subjects do slowly start coming up. So I was having a bit of a hard time uh, going through university and all this kind of thing. So things weren't particularly very good. And then um, I was just sort of a, just a general gamer. I like video games and funny things on the internet, Reddit, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I eventually just sort of looked at various funny videos on, on YouTube that caught my eye with virtual reality. I thought, ooh, that's actually kind of cool. I want to I wanna see what that's all about. Eventually I managed to get myself like a good gaming PC, which was another gaming goal I just wanted. I was like, oh, I get to play really cool games finally. Um, and then during that, I sort of just managed to win myself uh, like a headset and it came in through the post. I plugged it in and my life's absolutely changed since then. I started growing a family and started growing a, con a community. I have the hardest time when it comes to painting clouds. At the same time, I love doing it because each and every time I do it, I learn a different way of trying to do it. Um, I'm always like, each and every painting I've always done, I always paint my clouds very differently. Um, just to see which technique works with the stuff that I'm doing. Trees as well, I hate doing trees. Like, I think they look pretty as a silhouette. But when it comes to like making shading and like colors and all that kind of thing, I had the hardest time trying to figure out how to do it in a really consistent manner. As Bob Ross says, um, as you practice, as you paint more and more, you know the brush strokes better. You know where things need to go. You know how the cloud needs to be. And you bring out more out of that canvas. I'm here just to paint and just have a good time with that. Just take a small moment, one step at a time. And that step can be really simple. That step can be, I need to go get a glass of water because I'm thirsty. Or it can be, I need to just simply open an email and see what it is all about. Don't think about all the stuff afterwards. So think about what it's connected to. Just simply like, you know, one step. When it's painted in the world, it's gone. You cannot go visit it. You cannot go see it. It is just a photo that I take and I keep, personally. It's literally, like, the whole point. The, the whole inspiration, the teachings behind it, that is much more valuable and lives on a lot longer than just that image. I'm giving the life of creativity on to others. That is my legacy. It's the inspiration and the, the joy that the creativity brings to somebody. That is the art. And that is what I'm proud of.